Hey, Keith here. How you doing? Uh, today I'm talking about a Blue Jackson, a USA made Jackson. And um, I'm actually talking about repair, repairs and what can happen when you take your guitar into, uh, let's just call it chain guitar stores, okay? The big chains for repair. Um, this is a very expensive guitar, belongs to a friend of mine. And um, he actually brought it to me for some repairs and things that were done wrong at one of the big chains. Um, the most notable, well first of all, I have to understand this is this is an expensive USA guitar, okay? Probably over two grand new. So, um, you know, my friend didn't know. He, he figured he would be in good hands at, at the chain store where they work on guitars and little did he know that, um, you know, the, the guy that was working there in the tech department was was either new or just didn't know what he was doing because um, what happened is the guitar tech actually put these terrible chips in the finish back here by the Floyd Rose when he was working back here to you know uh, replace the strings and adjust the action so um, this one was not done by them and neither was this one but the fact of the matter is uh, there's actually three here one two three uh, just absolute carelessness and um, you know just a terrible shoddy work now I will say that anybody that works on guitars even the best can make a mistake you can drop something a tool can slip whatever but this is obvious because uh, he did three separate pieces of damage here uh, it's pretty obvious that this was carelessness uh, or someone who had never worked on one of these before because what you do with a guitar like this when you're when you're working back here is every anyone knows that works on one that when you put the three millimeter wrench in here to loosen the strings it comes very close to the paint okay so there's two solutions to that problem the best solution is to put some kind of towel or thin protective cloth down here so you don't you know jam into the paint while you're working with the wrench and then in addition to that um, a good thing to do is to you know push this down like this so when I'm putting a wrench in here so as you can see that as I push that down I can now get a wrench in here quickly and pop it loose and it doesn't come anywhere near the paint so whoever worked on this guitar um, obviously just didn't take a lot of care so it's a lesson to anybody out there um, if you have an expensive guitar, any guitar, before you just go in and assume that the big chain store can help you out and they know what they're doing, I would say check some reviews online. There's plenty of reviews, um, you know, sites, you know who they are that review, you know, shops and businesses and see who's really got a good reputation. And, it, you know, especially on expensive guitar, it's worth, I think, going to someone that's not just the cheapest in town, that's, you know, comfortable with working on these and more importantly knows how to um, to safeguard and do what you need to do back here because you know I can see like one of these happening but honestly you know two or three times on the same guitar just outrageous actually and the, the worst part about it was um, they you know sort of made it sound like hey we'll 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 fix it you know sorry really sorry sir we'll fix you know the paint and you know the customer asked them well what are, what are you talking about you know just doing touch-up paint on there you know nail polish or touch-up paint and they basically said yes so they weren't even going to offer to really do it right and repaint this two thousand dollar guitar which you know they should have um, of course it does have another another ding down here but still that's not the point um, these look a lot worse and you know, it would be some. It would be like if you had a, a scratch on your front bumper, you know, and someone backing into your fender or bashing into the back of your car, saying, "Oh well, I'm not." You know, I'll just pay to touch that up. You know, because I just damaged that part or whatever. It already had a ding in the front. Outrageous, right? Anyway, so um, just thought I'd throw that out there. If you have an expensive guitar, um, you know, check it out. Uh, check out some other places besides just the big chains and. Go to someone that knows what they're doing. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard to ask around and look online for some reviews. Anyway, um, if you're interested uh, in more information about this guitar, um, drop us uh, a comment below. And um, thanks for watching. Also, um, there should be another video up of uh, a review talking a little bit about this guitar and playing it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Drop us a like. Take care.